Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Image is everything. Put your best foot forward. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. We've all heard all of these sayings, but what do they really mean? We cut, we color, we relax and turn. We tan, we lighten, we exfoliate, we nip, we tuck, and we exercise. All in the name of body image. Image is everything. Modesty aside, I want you to think of a time when you looked in the mirror and you said, hmm, I look really good today. Modesty aside, we've all done it. Every hair is in place, you got the perfect outfit, it's fitting right. You didn't have to try on seven to get it right. <laughs> you're looking good, you're smelling good, and you've got, you're walking tall. You're feeling good. You're looking at the reflection and you're smiling, and the reflection smiling back at you is smiling. Are we there yet? I think we're there. Think of a time when you woke up feeling like crap. <laughs> Mama, I'll just get into this thing now. Feeling like crap, nothing fits. You tried every sweater, every pair of pants. You don't care if you smell good. You look in the mirror and you're frowning, and that reflection is frowning back. <laughs> what is it? It's the same person, the same mirror, and the same body, but a different reflection. What is that? Body image is the picture that you, that your mind's eye sees. It's what you see physically, and it's how you feel about what you're seeing. So we're talking about perception. It's the way you see how you are. Self-esteem, relationships, uh, behaviors, all affect one's perception. There are two images, a positive image and a negative image. It's just that simple. A positive image, you see yourself truly how you are, the reality. And you're okay with that. You've got your shape. You know what that is. You know what your size is. You may not be completely happy with that shape and size, but you're comfortable with it. It's all right. That negative image is just the opposite. You've got this person that has a distorted perception of what they truly are. For example, you got the skinny chick that's always talking about losing weight, <laughs> drinking a Diet Coke, always talking about being fat, or vice versa. You've got the overweight person that is totally disconnected. I look good. <laughs> and I'm all right with it. Okay? So positive, you have a real perception. Negative, you have a distorted, distorted perception of your body image. Now, how does society play in the role of body image? We know how this works. Magazines, DVDs, videos, commercials. They all play into what the ideal body shape is. Society pressures us to measure up on a daily basis. That this is what you're supposed to look like, and this is what it is. They do it through cosmetics. They do it through apparel. They tell us what our social and cultural ideals of beauty are. The media's unrealistic description of what normal continues to get Thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner for women. More ripped and muscular for men. Think about every Axe commercial you've seen. They're selling deodorant, but none of the men have shirts on. What is with this? You're selling deodorant. Okay? Do you have a healthy body image? Here's a few questions I want you to ask yourself. Is it really possible to achieve the ideal body. Second question, is the ideal body really your key to health, success, and happiness? Do those two things meet up? And the third thing is, is what can you do to improve your body image? Some strive for the ideal weight and shape with crash diets, exhaustive exercise programs, but there's a couple of factors that you've got to understand. Factor one, you cannot change your bone structure. You have no control over that, period. The second thing is, is the way you store fat. We can't change the way that we store fat. And the third thing is, is genetics. We are genetically who we are. Just take a look at your mama, your daddy, your sisters, and your brothers, and that will give you an idea of where you fall genetically with this body, with this body image. 
Even with those diets and exercise plans, you can still lack the raw materials to get the ideal body shape. But remember, we're talking ideal from what the media says is ideal. But what do you say is ideal body shape? Even though our society often seems obsessed with looks and weight, doesn't mean we have to accept it. Try these tips to help you overcome depression. First, de-emphasize the weight. <laughs> For whatever reason, that's the only thing we're concerned about when it comes to exercising and eating. It's all about the appearance, the weight. What about making your heart stronger? Mm -hmm. What about making your lungs more efficient? And what happens when you adopt these principles and you continue them? Oh, weight comes off. <laughs> Muscle starts to build. <laughs> de-emphasize it just being about the weight. Realize you cannot change your body type. If we're apple shaped, we are apple shaped. If we're pear shaped, we are pear shaped. But we can be the thinnest apple in the bunch. Okay? <laughs> so that doesn't mean we're not going to work on it, but it just means that we got to accept some things just as they are. We are all meant to be different. There are no two of us alike, and we've got to accept those things. Stop comparing yourself to others. It's just not fair. If my job is a nurse, why the heck am I comparing myself to a supermodel on TV? <laughs> we have two totally different professions. She has a stylist, a makeup artist, she has a nutritionist, and a personal trainer. We do two different things. Her job is to sell products, our apparel, merchandise. My job, hopefully as a nurse, is to take care of people, make them better. So who cares if I look great in scrubs? <laughs> <laughs> so remember, <coughs> These are a couple of commandments that I want you to remember as you start to think about your ideal body weight. Realize I didn't tell you anything to tell you what to do with your ideal body shape. I want you to start to think about what your ideals are, not what Maya's ideals are or what Maya thinks is great, but what you think is great. One, I would think of reasons why it is ridiculous to believe that thinner people are happier people. Not always true. Last, I will spend less time in front of the mirrors I will exercise for the joy of feeling my body move and grow stronger. I will treat my body with the respect and kindness it deserves. Here's my motto. I will feed it, keep it active, and listen to its needs. So if you remember nothing else, feed it, keep it active, and listen to its needs. Thank you, Ms. President. Thank you. Thank you.